Good morning, everyone. It is Miss Burns bringing you announcements on this amazing A Day, students. It is Monday, November the 16th. It is the last week before our Thanksgiving break. So, students, I want to start out with something I've been saying to you for weeks now. Students, be sure you turn in all of your work before you leave for break. Students, use this week to get caught up on any missing assignments that you're able to turn in. Students, make sure that when you leave for break on Friday that you don't have to worry about your missing work because you've already turned it in. Students, be sure you turn in all of your missing work. So I want us to revisit one more time appropriate technology use. You've heard me talk about it. You've heard Ms. Merhout talk about it. You've heard your teachers talk about it in class. It's been talked about in advisory. Students, I need to make you very aware and be very clear that you must use your technology appropriately. And so starting today, students, if you get caught chatting via Zoom, via whatever app you're using, if you get caught chatting in school, students, it will be ISS. We have not had to use ISS at all this year. Students, do not be the first ones in ISS. Be sure that you're using your technology appropriately. Be sure that you're using it for learning both the iPad itself as well as any apps that you access. Make sure you use your technology appropriately. All right, for my in-person students, let's talk about lunchroom for a second. Students, starting today, iPad use will not be allowed during lunches. Students, during lunches, no iPad use. Here's why. You need a break from technology. You spend all of your classes either Zooming or in breakout rooms or working in Canvas or doing whatever your teachers assign and it's on your iPad students when you're in the cafeteria, you're going to take a break from technology and so no iPad use while you're in the cafeteria. Speaking of the cafeteria students, I see a number of you that do not have your IDs. Students, if you don't have your ID when you go into the cafeteria, guess what? You're going to be the last ones in line. Students, I'll say it again. If you don't have your ID, you're going to be the last one in line to eat lunch. You will get to eat lunch. You'll just be the last one in line. Students, remember, it's so important. Always have your ID. Always wear your ID in the morning when you walk in the building. Have it on the entire day and make sure that you put it in a spot so that you always remember to bring it back the next day. All right, in-person students, I have one more reminder for you. Remember, our goal is to keep the hallways as clear as possible. That's why we do a staggered release instead of having everyone in the hallway all at once. Students, part of keeping the hallways clear means when you exit one class, you go directly to the next class. Do not walk your friends to their class. Do not walk down to the other end of the building if your class is not in that end of the building. Students, we have to keep the hallways clear, which means do not walk your friends to class. When you finish one class, you need to go straight to your next location. Don't wander the building. All right, that's all the announcements I have. We do have Mindfulness Monday with Ms. Gash coming up. And then we have a couple more announcements before we get to birthdays, pledges, and creed. Students and staff, I hope you have a marvelous Monday. Good morning, YWLA students and staff. For today's Mindfulness Monday, we are going to continue our discussion about being mindful of our future. So for the second week of Generation Texas Week, we want you all to continue thinking about life after graduation. So hopefully last week you all received some good information about college and careers. Well, this week we are going to continue to provide you with that information as well. Um, for today's dress up theme, our theme is our future is shining bright. So wear your favorite sunglasses. So I have these glasses on my head. I hope you took advantage of wearing yours as well. Because in all honesty, ladies, if you look around you, there are some ladies who are going to grow up to be future lawyers, future doctors, future teachers, future social workers, um, maybe future uh, vice presidents or presidents, um, future police officers. I mean, there's so, so many different things um, that you all may choose to do with your life. And I feel very honored to have the opportunity to assist you all while you are going through school and trying to think about 
what it is that you want to do and what it is that you want to accomplish um, in your future. So this week, we have a lot of great activities planned. So tomorrow's theme is represent your future college by wearing your favorite college shirt. Students who are in person, you must wear uniform pants along with that college shirt. Um, you will also receive some information during the advisory about how to dress professionally. And that information is going to prepare you for Wednesday's dress up theme, which is dress for future success by wearing professional attire. On Wednesday, you will also receive some college tips from Ms. Martinez for Wellness Wednesday. There will also be a college uh, Zello lesson during advisory as well. So there's a lot more dress up theme themes to come. Be sure to check out our Counseling Services Canvas course for more information. Also, there is a college trivia game that's gonna be starting soon. Uh, we have a lot of great prizes that we're looking forward to giving away. So be sure to pay attention to the announcements, check out our Canvas course and see how you can win yourself a free treat from Sonic. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be mindful about your future. Have a great day. Welcome to the Wilder Valley Spelling Bee. It's going to be a little different this year. This year we'll have an online spelling bee and a live spelling bee. Students will complete the online spelling bee between December 1st to the 4th. Highest scoring students will be advanced to the live spelling bee on December 9th during fourth period. How can I participate? Step one, have your parent or guardian register you for the online test. Step two, once you are registered, use the practice test to study. Step three, beginning December 1st through the 4th, you will take the official test. Live spelling bee. Step four, our highest scores on the online spelling bee will be advanced to the school wide B. Step five, winners advancing to the school wide B will be announced on Monday, December 7th. Step six, the school wide B will occur during fourth period on December 9th. Will all advancing students will be placed on a list to be excused from class to participate in the B. Virtual students will be able to come to school at that time to participate or may participate via Zoom. Be awesome, ask your parents to register you today. Students and staff, don't miss out on your opportunity to help your community by helping the Kindness Crew with this year's hygiene drive. The Kindness Crew is collecting deodorant, shampoo, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and feminine products to help GPISD families who are in need. Remember, this is an advisory class competition. The drive will continue through next Thursday, November 19th. Help your community and win points for your advisory class. The winning class will receive an honorary breakfast along with, you guessed it, a Sonic certificate for an ice cream shake. Donations will be collected by your advisory teacher each morning. So bring your hygiene products and thank you for giving. Now it's time for the pledges and our creed. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I am YWLA. I am a scholar. I am a leader. I am a young woman, respecting myself, my family, my peers, my community. My image is of integrity, the portrait of pride. I hope, I dream, I believe. Maintaining the discipline to succeed and the courage to fail, I am, you are, we are, 
YWLA.